Hello and welcome to Angel Scent Aromatherapy. My name is Teresa and I'm here with your weekly angelic oracle reading for January 6th to January 12th. So how are you feeling as you're working towards your resolutions and working towards your dreams and goals and manifesting them this year? Um, I know that you're still probably feeling quite motivated, quite inspired, and still very open uh, to that receiving energy. And the angels want you to know that is, it is very important to remember this feeling. Remember the feeling of receiving. Remember the feeling of joy, motivation, inspiration, and openness. They want you to remember this all through the year, whether it's the beginning of the year, next month, the middle of the year, or the end of the year. They, they feel that if you can just tap into this energy, even when you're feeling a little bit down or a little bit discouraged, it will help you raise your vibration so that you can get back into bringing those beautiful things into your lives. Today, um, for the Oracle reading, I've decided to go with uh, Charles Virtue and uh, Doreen Virtue's Indigo Oracle cards. I feel that we're we're in a week or we're, we're in a month where there is a lot of that warrior energy like the indigo. We're breaking through chains, breaking through patterns, just so we can go and achieve what we need to achieve this month and this year. So I believe that is why I was really drawn to the indigo cards. So I will be choosing three cards. The first usually corresponds to the first part of the week the second, the middle of the week, and the third towards the end of the week. But what I commonly find is that they they all have a similar meaning or they all complement each other and bring one big meaning for the week. So let's see what I think this card. Okay, wow, that is a good one. And let's see what the next card is. Okay. And this one. Okay. So our first one is actually quite a beautiful card. It says, allow love. By allowing love into our lives, by allowing beautiful things into our lives, we will attract even more love. We will attract more beautiful things. It's just a matter, again, of that open, openness and know that you deserve love. Know that you deserve all of the wonderful things that life has to offer. So if we can allow love in, then there's just more room for love to come towards us. So, so that's for the beginning of the week, but I think this is a very important one for the entire week. It's just allow that love in. Allowing is so important. And once again, I am worthy of love. Um, you can repeat that affirmation. I am worthy of love. I am love. So for the first part of the week, allow love. The next part would be shielding, which I'm asking you, or the angels are asking you to allow things in, to allow love in. But they're also uh, asking you to shield. Shielding is a great tool to use, um, you know, when you're, we're in a situation where we need to detach or in a si situation that is bringing us down or draining us and not allowing us to move forward and to to achieve what, what we want to achieve. Um, somebody once told me, um, I see you, I hear you you can't stop me. So even though you see and you hear the things around around you, shielding yourself from that will just help you stay focused. Allow the love in, allow the faith in, allow the inspiration and the motivation. But when you're feeling uncomfortable in a situation, just shield yourself. You can shield yourself with Archangel Michael's blue and purple colors, Archangel Raphael's green, emerald green colors. Shielding yourself is very important, um, but there is a difference between letting love in and then shielding yourselves from the things that, you know, that may be draining you, things that are no longer serving you. So shielding uh, for the middle of the week. Okay, and the next one acceptance. It is so important 
for us when we are moving forward, when we are bringing new things into our lives or want new things into our lives, it's important for us to accept where we are at in the present moment because we are where we are supposed to be. It is perfect. Even though things might not seem the way you want, they might they might be less, again, less than perfect. I think I said that last week. But we need to accept them. Accept what we can learn from them. Accept what we can, we can um, learn from them and, and just accept them. Uh, that is one of the biggest, biggest things to do when it comes to healing. So if you are healing emotionally, physically, um, mentally, spiritually, acceptance and be easy on yourself for where you are right now if you have you know um if if one of your resolutions was was maybe maybe not achieved as quickly as you're wanting accept where you're at accept where you are then you'll start feeling peace within your body and then things will start to gradually change. So definitely acceptance. So we, this week, we are going to allow love. We are going to shield ourselves from things that are no longer serving us. And we are going to accept. We are going to accept where we are right now because it is perfect, it is beautiful. So those are the messages from the angels. And, um, May the angels surround you today and always, and we will see you next week. Thank you and have a wonderful week.